How to play Professor X in six minutes or less. Professor X is one of the newest and most requested champs in MCOC and can seem very complicated to play when looking at his abilities, but I will try to break them down along with his strengths and weaknesses. So Professor X has above average attack, crit, and block proficiency with some interesting ways to ramp up while negating damage. At the start of every fight, you will enter his mind with two icons. One is his channeling charges and the other is his falter countdown. All attacks except his first medium deal energy damage that allows you to bypass nodes and champs that reflect physical damage back such as Korg, Electro, Thorns, and he is also immune to reverse controls, which makes Emma, well, sad. Professor X is unique with his channeling abilities. These are gained by using specials and charging heavies. At 25 charges, Professor X will gain a vigilance buff that will bypass evade and miss against any champs but tech. At 50 charges, he has the ability to inflict mind control debuff that lasts one second per 20 charges by ending a combo with a light attack. If he is power drained, he will lose 50 charges. When at 100 charges, mind control will be active for five seconds after any special attack. While the opponent is under this debuff, they will not have the ability to gain power or use specials. Also, while the opponent is under mind control, Professor X's specials are unblockable and cost up to 70% less power. These abilities allow him to chain specials while keeping the opponent from being able to use them. Also, the mind control debuff is paused through all special animations. Using the channeling ability allows Professor X to gain and keep prowess buffs that increase special attack damage by 40% for 36 seconds. His signature ability will give the prowess damage a boost up to 50% based on the opponent's power meter. Canceling his channeling abilities will help you control his prowess buffs. When you cancel channeling by using a heavy, you will gain 10 charges. If you cancel by attacking with a special basic attack or block an incoming attack, you will gain a prowess. If you cancel by dashing back, you will refresh your prowess buffs. You will start channeling after each special. So basically, if you dash back or dex after a special, you will refresh your prowess. If you parry or go for an attack, you will add another prowess. If you charge your heavy to start channeling, launch your special, then go in for another attack, you will gain two prowess per special attack. Just remember to refresh them because they can stack up infinitely. Let's talk about Falter because this is a great utility for his channeling and in case you make a mistake. Professor X starts the fight with a countdown of 10. So you do not start the fight with the ability to Falter. Now you can shave off one second by dexing an attack. Once the countdown is gone, any basic attack will place a Falter debuff on the opponent causing all attacks except specials to miss for two seconds. Now this is a great way to channel without the dangers of being hit, but make sure you get the timing down and that your opponent is not with a bar of power. Once the Falter debuff is expired, it goes on to cooldown for 20 seconds before it can be used again. However, you can reduce that by one second every time you dex an attack. Professor X's signature ability allows him to gain one channeling charge per second until he hits 75 and, as mentioned previously, ups the prowess potency by 50% based on your opponent's power meter for some even harder hitting specials. He gains one Cerebro charge every time he wins a fight up to four represented by his persistent charges. These work mostly with his synergies by boosting the effects of other mutants and X-Men. Unfortunately, they do not do much for him except after his special three, he gains a prowess buff lasting 40 seconds and increasing special damage by 60% each. Professor X's special one will give him 25 channeling charges and his special two will deal three hits of burst damage. And this is the special to go to for zerging down your opponents. Now there are many different ways to play him, but basically you can go through most fights by building your channeling charges and by using the heavy. You do not need it to actually connect to get the bonus charges. Build up to a special three once you have 100 charges. Hold block to start channeling and launch it. Your opponent will be unable to use specials or gain power afterward. Then immediately go into a special two and chain into another special two. Each fight you do this with this method, the more damage as you build up your Cerebro charges. Now for longer fights, you can really build the prowess by chaining special ones before going into the above rotation. Parrying, hold heavy to start channeling, then use the special one, then go for an attack to gain another prowess. Like Ghost or Quake, Professor X takes some practice to get his timing and rotation down. But when you do, he is a lot of fun for a lot of content. Now he suffers immensely against tech champs and also against any node that affects his power in a negative way, such as Plague Mind or Power Struggle. Professor X 
Phoenix has many synergies, but they are to benefit other mutants and X-Men on the team. Masteries that work best for him are any basic mastery setup, but I do not believe that he is suicide friendly, but that is it. That is how to play Professor X in six minutes or less. Let me know in the comments below, how do you play Professor X? What is the rotation that you use for him? But thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks guys. Bye.